Hello, so let's see how to feng shui your bedroom. There are a couple things that you should not be having and sometimes uh, it's strange asking the questions of, oh, why should my bed face this way or that way or what can I do with certain things? So we're going to kind of look into various examples. For example, this bedroom specifically, What's the main issue here? The main issue is that my job and my work is where I relax. So basically that is kind of blocking different things because while I'll be supposed to be relaxing, I'm actually always thinking of work. So the, the, having the bedroom and the work area in the same place will kind of crash because we won't be able to sleep correctly. We will be always thinking, on that laptop and that work or that job which I mean for some for someone that needs to relax is not good for someone that needs to take a break is not good because uh, basically you wake up and the first thing you're gonna see is work other thing that is important to see here is that uh, that chair is pointing with the back without any wall for example which is bad in Feng Shui too colors for example, in this bedroom are good, um, but it is, it's always depending on the person, right? So for some people, these colors might be better. For some other people, you would need brighter colors, colors right? So it, it's, it's very, you can have colors that you like, you can have things you like, because at the end of the day, this represents you, right? So not because a, a Feng Shui consultant says it has to be red, you have to put red unless you actually love the colors you have. One of my first uh, rules doing Feng Shui is buy things that you actually like and love and throw away the things that you don't like. So for example, if those green pillows are not your style and I'm saying, let's put green, I'm not the last word because at the end of the day, this is reflecting your own self. In this case scenario, for example, the main issue for this bedroom is that we cannot see that door. So anybody could open it and we will jump scared because basically uh, we cannot see the door. Now, if we position the bed in the other side, then we could see the door and the window. So we won't be struggle or scared when somebody comes in. So we always would be relaxing in this room. Um, another problem here again is like we have the bedroom in the in a work area, right? Which again, is kind of like not be able to relax by having that. Of course, there's situations where you can not do something like that. And there's some things you can do, right? To make it more comfortable. But uh, again, from a Feng Shui pr principle, we should not have that table there, right? Uh, other thing important here is that that bed is all tucked up in the corner. Uh, to be able to actually have a balanced life, you have to have two sides where you can come in, right? So here, if I mean, if it's a student, that's fine to have it like that. But if it's a couple, then that would be kind of an issue, right? Because there will be no balance between them. For example, here is a good example of what your bed might look like, where you have two nightstands, two lamps, one has certain things which the other has, which balances out a relationship, right? Uh, pillows, I mean, the colors, again, it depends on, on the type of person you are, can re reflect different things. But if we go to the core items are two walkways that we can go each side, we can go into the bed easily. Uh, we have two lamps and two nightstands, which balances out this bedroom. For example, in this case, um, we have the same problem as, as the one with the student, right? Uh, while the walkway here in the left side, you cannot see who's coming in. So that will impact you and wake you up, right? So you will always be sleeping and thinking, oh, somebody might come in. That's something like also from Feng Shui perspective that you should not uh, have your back to a door, right? Uh, because you cannot see it. 
Uh, in this case scenario, for example, uh, uh, we have these blinds that cut the energy because they're like little knives, right? So it depends again on the person. It depends on, on what can be done to change certain things. But any lines like this that look like if you had little knives cutting you would cut, cut your energy, right? So it would probably make you feel weird in that bedroom, although you have two walkways, right? In left and right, but it would be kind of like an unbalanced situation because it will be cutting, right? Colors, for example, are dark. So for somebody that likes, again, it's a, a question of balance between light and dark, right? Yin and yang. So maybe putting some other colors brighter will um, be more enjoyable, right? As what we saw before in the pastel colors. In this bedroom, for example, you have no pastel col colors. You have, as I said, two sides of the walkway, which is kind of balanced. And basically, it looks good. But again, we have that door on the right side that we cannot see. So by not being able to see, we're encouraging in, our, in, in an issue, right? Um, other important thing is in the back, if you see that uh, uh, picture behind, it looks like water and water should never be in the bedroom. Um, other little things that you can see is the little couch here in the, in the lower level. Um, it's blocking that area. So blocking areas means you are also going to block something within your life, right? So bedrooms, for example, it doesn't matter um, if you think like, oh, bedroom is the love area or or bedroom is, is, is a specific feeling of it where you relax. Yeah, it is certainly that, but in Feng Shui, this room can be located anywhere. It can be located in the money area, it can be located in the fame area, it can be located in the health area, and that will impact the colors you will use and the type of element you're working with, right? Because here you have a green with a little uh, brown. So that means you're using more wood element, which might be good for that area or might not be. So Feng Shui has certain rules and, and of course it has to be organized. And of course you should not be uh, having your back to the door uh, as a base. And that's a good starting point for everybody. Thank you very much and see you in the next time. Bye.